Welcome back again, ladies. And you're gonna keep seeing me in the bedroom in this tank top. It's like sticky here and it's just so crazy. But anyway, so I'm gonna attempt to do what is in a hostess packet again because the last video was very choppy and I think some people actually saw it because I didn't realize my settings on YouTube was actively simultaneously uploading to Twitter and to Google Plus and so these videos were not I wasn't quite ready to share them and they had been shared already so and no one said that they were choppy but when I go physically to the link and pull it up it's very choppy so I want to try to do it again without getting too long-winded because you ladies know I talk too much chatty patty so I apologize and so I'm gonna kind of keep it general and again if you guys have questions within our gems group just go and comment specifically where I posted everything and ask me whatever question you need and if I can just answer it there I will and if I need to do another video I will so um, just definitely don't feel like you can't ask questions even if it sounds silly because it's not because everybody does everything different and sometimes it's so basic you just don't even think to do it that way and I know I do that all the time I always do like the long version everybody's like cliff notes cliff notes do it shorter do it shorter so I'm gonna try so basically I from one of the tips from the top calls um, I liked the way Allison, which she's also part of our team on the other side, like the bigger group from Stella or from Luxie Stars, I forget, or Bling on the Stars, I forget which one in that group, but she had some great ideas about selling on the go in one of these phone calls and she definitely always carries extra order forms in her bag with a lookbook. Uh, just because you never know if you're just going to take a random order like literally on the street or at the doctor's office or shopping whatever um, but what she puts in her actual hostess packet I liked so I'm going to kind of copy what she does I'm going to read through exactly what it is and then I'm going to show you so she typically puts in three big lookbooks and order forms and then she does ten printed invites like paper invites that's printed onto Stellan dot stationery which I don't have in this kit to show you because I didn't print anything on it yet but I think I'm gonna go and get one and I'll show it in another video um, trunk show planner one of them an opportunity brochure packet and the social mixology sheet so that they can figure out who do they know to invite to their trunk show um, Along with that, you want to also include the current promo for that month. You can also include any celebrity images, like press images that we have on the Stylist Lounge that you can print out um, to show some of the celebrities that wear our pieces in our collection. You can also include, um, oh, she didn't have it written here. I also give six mini lookbooks these and I'll tell you why they're six because it wasn't supposed to be six originally I was going to do three or five but it ended up being six and then the summer lookbooks I do to match the number of the big lookbooks so if I give three big lookbooks I give three summer lookbooks and then of course you're going to adjust accordingly based on what kind of show that you were doing if it's a fundraiser maybe there's only certain things that they want you to talk about things like that so real quick so we have these Stella on Dot folders um, that you can buy. I think there's like 10 of them to a packet. And I forget how much they are, but I think they're sold out or maybe they're back in stock. I don't remember. But I know they're coming out with new stuff. I think every time it's near Hoopla, they have like new things that are coming out that we can actually purchase at Hoopla. So um, it's not a have to. And, and honestly, I don't use them unless I'm actually dropping off the hostess packet to the hostess or if I'm packing up hostess packets to bring with me to the trunk show to give to a future hostess that's going to book. When I send them, I send them in the priority flat rate envelopes and these folders don't fit in there. I just discovered that there's another envelope that's also flat rate that's not like the paper envelope but it's the um, 
that material, that like plasticky, like I think it's called Tyvek material or whatever. And I think these fit in that, but it's not a, a structured, um, like it's not a firm envelope like the actual other flat rate. It's like, it's looser and it's bigger. So things will slide around in there, which is fine. But I would just prefer to keep it all like, like structured and like really close together when it's being shipped. So I don't use this envelope. I just put the contents of this folder, I'm sorry, into that envelope. But if you, you know, put it in here, I put my business cards, because there's a spot for your business cards. And I know another stylist, she staples them in and she staples it on the cover. It just depends what you want to do. But this is what the folder looks like. It's a substantial folder. So if you're going to do the three big look books, it's the three most current big look books is here. And if you watch the video about what I was saying about the shop, this link template where you do the sheet of 30 and I was saying you put it on everything, you put it on the lookbook. Like I have my label on the back, but on the front, literally right at the top, you're going to put that hostess's shop this link label right here or anywhere on the front so they could see it right away. So I put it on the front. So I give them three. I give her one that she keeps for herself for her to use to make her wish list for her own copy and then I give her two extras that one she could take to work and leave at her job or hand out to somebody if she wants to initiate a friend to help her with outside orders whatever it is she has two extras so she's one that she keeps always and two that she gives away and that goes with the mint the mint the medium size the, the summer capsule whatever your you know, if you're in within the summer capsule, you can give the middle, the middle medium size. And the same thing, you put that shop this link right on the front and you hand this with the lookbook, the big lookbook. Is that? So I give the same amount, three and three. Then what I go on to do is I give six of these minis. And I give six because the label I use on the back to put all the hostess information as an address and like the time and place and the link and all that, it comes six to a sheet. And so once I start doing that, I'm like, oh, I should just do the full sheet and I'll just give her six. And when I give these out, I tell my hostess to only give them to people that can't make the show but want to do an order or give these out to people that are not really Facebook email people or internet people and they want kind of like a paper invite but it's at least with some pictures in it, you know? Um, so it's literally on the back. You could use the other label. There is one sheet that I, other styles have told me that it comes with 10 labels on a sheet. They're like rectangular, it's like two by four. And I think it fits like right here. So there's, you can still see this. My label literally is like three by four. So it, almost, it covers this whole thing. But I'll tell you why I do that because this is the spring mini lookbook because you only get two kinds a year. We get the spring one and we get the fall winter one. And with the summer collections, even though I give the summer capsule book, I include an image from the summer collection underneath the information. So I'll do another video showing you how I print those off, but that's what I do. And so I have an image here and I don't care that this is covered because they're just gonna go to the website and all that information is there anyway so again I, I and I put a post-it note on everything saying to the hostess like I told you the three big look books she keeps one and one's then the other two are for whoever wherever and I actually put that on I'll write a post it and say these two look books leave at your work give out to a friend whatever this look book keep for yourself this is your master copy like I actually label everything because it makes it less work for that hostess so you don't overwhelm them like they're getting this big packet and it's just like you don't tell them what to do with it it's like oh my god and you don't want to write an instruction unless they have to read through to figure it out that's just too much information so okay you give these out so six of these because of the sheet printing out six then you do and again you do that shop this link label on here too right on the front and then you have the hostess planner uh trunk show planner that tells them how to set up their show real easy peasy not a lot of food kind of thing tells them their rewards on the inside um and then you put the date of their show and all this stuff there and you can put the shop this link label here too 
just because if they keep it and if someone happens to ask them what's your link they don't know where to look as if it's on everything they can see it on every piece of literature that you've given them so they don't have to go hunting for it because it's on everything you gave them so they'd be like oh it's right here i can read it to you on the phone and they give it to their host their guest um i include but I haven't reordered these, so I don't know going forward if I'm going to order more. It just depends if they still keep these the same style. But the Charms book, the Charms brochure, I give them one. Just one. And this is the master one, so she'll keep this. And I'll put the shop, the show link on here, too. And then the Opportunity brochure, again, you're going to just put the shop, this link on here, too, because who knows who sees it. it again, this is going to be her master copy, but she could lend it out to somebody to look at. Um, and I do mention to her, if you think you'd be interested in the opportunity, definitely let me know. If you think, not for you at this time, but you think you have a friend that might be interested, please pass this along and give it to her and let me know. So that's that. And then here's the hostess master copy. And you can see the post-it note I have there. It says, keep this, this is your copy. And then the literature is in here. I give, we sell these repositionable sticky notes um, to use with the lookbooks. You can also buy the flags, you know, the posted flags that you can get that are all different colors. You can buy them and like, sometimes they have the really small ones, which is fine because they're just flagging pages anyway. They come in like a pack of 10 and there's like 10 different colors or five different colors two times and you can get them for like three bucks and you can just take one of those packets and just include it in their packet and let them know what to do with it. That's used to flag pages of their wish list. But Stella and Dot has some of these cute ones and I have some, so it has cute sayings on it. And you can give this with the hostess copy so that she can flag what she likes and, and put things on her wish list. Here's the social mixology, who do you know list, so they know who to invite from their different social circles. Here is the Jet Set Essentials because you know we're premiering the bags so I just want them to see that. Here's the Calling All Students College Opportunity. You know, for college students, if they happen to know a college student. And then what will you do with your blue cards? Like, what have you purchased that literature that like was in my Styles Opportunity Packet? Um, I include that here. And all these pieces of paper will have the Shop This Link label on it. Because you don't know who's going to see it, where she left it, whatever. So it's good to have it on everything because there's always an opportunity for them to shop. And then I give five photocopy outside order forms. Photocopy. I already fill my information out and then I photocopy it. So then it makes it easy. All my info is always there. It's always me that's the stylist. And then I do a post-it note reminding them if they have any checks to make it out to my name, Elise Yen. And then I remind them that they have to add the shipping to the order before they tax. And the tax is based on the address. So if it gets too hairy, I just tell them, let them know that when I run it through before I submit the order, I will contact them and let them know the total before, you know, whatever. So I do photocopies. And I give the hostess an initiative. She can get three outside orders by the date of her show when I show up that day and have three orders for me or three outside orders have online whatever I'll see them she will get an extra gift and you can give a cosmetic poof you could give a pair of studs you can give a friendship lace that's something that's inexpensive um, and again on this you'll do the link on here too because maybe somebody wants to just write the order up themselves but they need to shop the link so you can put it on here so that's all the paper and then again any promos that are going on for the month like if they book, you know, they get an extra $50 in rewards or the, um, you know, promos for the trunk show exclusive for every month where it's like spend 50, get 50% 50 off certain select items. Same thing. You're going to make sure you put all that literature in here. And then everything goes in here. And then I had mentioned on the other video that you could get business cards and put the shop this link label on the back of the business cards. Literally get the label and just put it right back here and hand like a stack of those out. And they and the hostess could end up handing them out to people. 
So, you know, that way it's a small card. It's not obstructive. It's not this big piece of information because some people are weird like that. And it gets her trunk show link out there for people to shop. Okay. So that's the gist of like what I would put into a hostess planner uh, packet if you want to put some together ahead of time. Um, and always aim to be qualified every month, ladies, if you can. $500 in sales will get you 5% back in uh, business supplies that's 25 bucks free and you just have to pay tax and shipping so you can get all the pieces that you need to do your hostess packets um, very easily if you just aim to do your business at the minimal um, selling $500 to get qualified to get those free business supply credits it just works in your favor you know um, it's working smart you're making a little bit of money at the same time while you are doing your business part-time so it pays to be qualified every month and then you get the consistency bonus so during every quarter if you sell 500 for each month for three months of a quarter at the end of that month or actually at the end of that quarter you would get a hundred dollars back in product credit towards the new launch of the new line so that's nice too so think of ways that you can work smart and not hard and make your money work for you and make your time work for you. So that's the hostess packet. Again, have questions, additional information, please comment on the post in the GEMS group and I will address those concerns for you. I hope this helps. Bye.